Snow duck. A big ice cube. There you go. Use it to make a duckling ice sculpture. Chisel it into the duckling shape. and a hat on it! Let Kiki see my duckling ice sculpture! It's so hot in the room! Duckling, sit here for a while! Let's go find Kiki! Kiki! Look! A duckling ice sculpture! Huh? Ah! The ice sculpture is gone! Why is there only a puddle of water? Where did it go? Huh? Quacky, don't worry. Let's think about it. Kids, how did you feel about the temperature when you were making ice sculpture in the snow? In the snow? It's very cold. How did you feel when you entered the room? In the room? It's much hotter. The room is hotter than outside. Could it be that the duckling ice sculpture disappeared because of the temperature? <laughs> is that right? Let's go to the magical laboratory and observe. Practice your hands and brain. Let's create together. To, to the, the laboratory. laboratory. Let's, Let's go. go. We need to prepare these materials. Thermometer. Magic heater. Plate. Ice cube. Let's start the experiment. This is a thermometer which can measure the temperature. When the temperature rises, the fluid goes up. When the temperature drops, the fluid will also go down. This is a heater. It can heat something up. Look, when the heater is working, the temperature what? rises. Turn off the heater and the temperature goes down. Pour the ice cube onto the plate. Observe it for a while. Now, the temperature is very low, so the ice is not melting. Turn on the magic heater and see what happens to the ice cube. turned into water! When the heater is on, the temperature rises, so the ice cube melted into water. The temperature in the room is higher, so my duckling ice sculpture melted into water! That's right! When the temperature rises, the ice will melt into water! Why is the water gone too? Where did the water go? Let's do an experiment to observe it. We also need... an empty plate. Some water. Let's try it out. First, put some water onto the plate. Turn on the heater. The water is becoming less and less! The water is gone! Where did the water go? The temperature rises and the water evaporates faster and turns into vapor. The duckling turned into water and then turned into water vapor. So, it can't come back. <laughs> Quacky! Actually, the water vapor can also be turned back into water. Really? How does water vapor turn back into water? Let's try it. We need these items. A bowl of hot water. A transparent lid. Let's observe. 
Look! The water is steaming! It's boiling water! Now touch the lid. Aw, the lid is very cold. That's right. Next, put the lid on the cup of hot water. Wow! Small water droplets! Many small droplets appear on the glass lid. How did these water drops get on the lid? These small droplets are formed by water vapor. I got it! When the temperature drops, the water vapor will turn into water! Water is amazing! It changes all the time! Quacky, water can also turn into ice. Wow! I'm going to make another duckling ice sculpture with water! Pour the water into the mold! But how can I turn water into ice sculpture? Kids, let's help Quacky. Do you know how to turn water into ice? That's right! Water will turn into ice when it is frozen in the refrigerator. Put it in the refrigerator! can dry the wet lion. Make a delicious popsicle! Melt the ice and take out the pinwheel! can dry the wet bunny! Melt the ice cubes into colorful juice! Freeze a bunny ice sculpture! Many fruits! How do we get them out? Freeze a little frog ice sculpture! How to dry the wet puppy! Red. All done! 
we also need salt decorations. Let's make it together. Pour the water into the mold. Make some nice decorations to put in the water. Make some nice decorations to put in the water. What color do you want the ice to be? Next, we're going to freeze the ice. Put the mold into the freezer. The freezer can turn the water into ice. <laughs> the water turned into ice. The necklace pendant is complete. You can remove the mold. Then place the cotton thread on the ice. Secure the cotton thread to the ice. We will need to use salt. Pour salt at the connection between the ice and the cotton thread and see what happens. Watch closely. Wow, the ice melts faster with the salt. Wait a while. The melted water will be too cold and refreeze. And freezing the cotton thread in the ice. Isn't it amazing? Kids, try to lift the necklace. The cotton thread is firmly frozen in the ice. An ice necklace done! All we need is cotton thread, water, ice molds, salt, decorations to make the ice necklace. Make it with your mom and dad together. Small picture book. Great big world. Read the picture book with Kiki and Quacky. Seawater painting. took Quacky to the beach to paint. Quacky wants to see what Mom is painting. Huh? Mom is actually painting with water. Can water really make a picture? Quacky peeks out his little head to take a closer look. And the transparent water actually paints a white picture. Mom says it is a glass of magic water. Quacky can't wait to paint with the magic water. Quacky paints a shiny seashell. The water stains slowly disappeared. And a white shell really appeared. The magic water is really amazing. Mom tells Quacky that the magic water is actually seawater. There are many, many salts in seawater. After the water evaporates, the white salt in the seawater is left on the colored paper. In this way, the white paintings appear. Quacky thought that Mom also adds salt when cooking. Can the salt from the paintings be used for cooking? Mom laughed and told Quacky, the salt used for cooking is obtained through the method of sun-drying seawater. People will pour seawater into salt fields. The sun evaporates the water, and people can get a lot of salt. Quacky suddenly realized, so that's where salt comes from. Finish 
finish reading the picture book story. See you next time.